السلام عليكم this uh, lecture uh, is to cover three chapters these are chapter 9 10 and 11 which are functions arrays and methods uh, functions will be covered after arrays so first I would like to cover arrays because some of the uh, arrays are used in function programs and methods with chapter 11 I have already covered some of them in previous uh, lectures so I would like to use it for some validation examples let me start with uh, this one arrays first I would like to define what is an array then I will give you some examples to show you how you can actually initialize an array how to display an array uh, using uh, uh, traditional statements or using loops and also how to sort an array so first let me start with uh, definition for array this is just if you type Google uh, search and you type what do you mean by the array says an array is a data structure that contains a group of elements typically these elements are all of the same data type such as an integer or a string so that means arrays uh, is a data structure that means a group of data stored under one group name and uh, they all 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 elements have the same data type so all of them are uh, integers or all of them are characters or uh, or floating points or strings so we use arrays a lot in programming because we can use it to organize our data or to uh, set values or enter them or sort them or uh, search the array for specific values that we are looking for within our data uh, since you have gone through the concept of array before in your java classes and your c++ so i would like to make it quick to go over some examples just as a refresher and uh, just to show you how you can do this in actually java script let me first show one example here this example which is a script in the head section uh, with an, 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 an array initialized uh, in the first line here of my script this array is data type as var because data uh, JavaScript has is only one data type which is var anyway so I don't have integers I don't have uh, double I don't have float I don't have chars is only var which is later it could uh, be converted to these values if you'd like to have uh, integers or the floating point you know how to, to use some methods to convert these values so this example here shows that I have an array with the, with the name cars and it's being initialized to uh, some cars like these six cars uh, however I should tell you that this is a data type of course this is the name of the array these are the elements of the array separated with commas as you could see and each one is enclosed within double quotation but we have to understand that arrays they have position and this position is the first one is zero's position so start from position number zero the second one start from position number one and the third one start from position number two the fourth one is actually in position number three and the fifth one is in position number four and the last one here the sixth one is position number five so if you would like to search this array for a specific uh, value if you are looking for Toyota for example you have to specify it with using the index or subscript number three uh, although it, it is number four in in the initialization uh, box but it is since the array is starting from zero then the index is three uh, so um, here I use document dot right line to uh, to display the, uh, the values by using only the array name between parentheses so let me uh, run this example and this example will show me only this uh, of course uh, you know uh, six values like that but since I have uh, decided that uh, each one of these arrays have a specific position that uh, it, uh, it is sitting uh, inside or the 
the the address of it then if I would like to display this one number three this Toyota it is actually number four here but the position number three so I have to use between brackets the index number three in order to display this Toyota like that so this one will display only Toyota if I would like to display uh, this Ford which is uh, number six one two three four five six but since the last one is actually n minus one n means the number of elements minus one that means six minus one which is five then the last one four will be displayed using uh, array subscript five like that of course i can use a loop to display these values starting from zero ending at n minus one like the, like this example here for example uh, here i have uh, I have this uh, example which is starting from 0 to less than 6 which is 5 and 0 itself it is counted 0 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 6 elements so this loop starting from 0 which is the first one ending at uh, 5 which is this one uh, because my counter i starts from 0 i less than 6 i plus plus or plus plus i then display this uh, this array name and here between brackets of, the, of course you have to use uh, between brackets you have to use i which is the counter so the counter uh, start from zero ending at five uh, will display all these values here i am concatenating it to a space only a space uh, so here this one will be looking just like that with a space separated them but if you like to separate them with uh, something like a, like a comma for example you can use this comma here uh, to to uh, to uh, put them uh, concatenate them with uh, where, is uh, where is it here okay with a comma you can put comma or you can put any character even if you can put a plus here it will show as uh, a plus uh, like that okay uh, so this is how to use the loop to display the uh, array in this example here I uh, f before I move to that example I have uh, I have used in uh, the loop my less than six but I can use also something else I can use the length of the array by using cars dot length car dot length means uh, the number of elements of the array dot length length means six so this one will actually give you six which is the length of the array so car dot length is the length of the array which is six from zero to five or six so this one also will uh, will display these values so let me just use something else to um, uh, to show you that this is working uh, so here it is like that mm -hmm card with lengths instead of using six because sometimes the array elements are very uh, are too much if you have like f 30 or 50 you cannot just use that um, you can count them and then you can make a mistake in counting them so instead of using for example less than 50 which is there are 50 of them when you need to count them sometimes you, c you can make a mistake but if you, you will never make a mistake if you use this uh, array name dot length this example here uh, shows you that I can use uh, also I can display the array using uh, cars dot the string so you can use cars like that of course uh, or you can use cars dot uh, to string to string stores the stores the values of the array so if you use array dot to string it will display these values so the same as before so this one is no different from the previous uh, example it will display the this uh, values this example here number five uh, is, is sorting the array here I'm displaying the array as uh, in the previous uh, program 
I'm using BR to give me a new line and then I'm using BR here also to give me a new line after it displays this string but to sort the array you can use array.sort method array.sort see yeah, I actually made a slight change on this one so that RD could be the first one displayed then that BMW because A and then B and then F and then G and then Toyota and then Volvo at the end so this one will sort this array and uh, the first statement here will display the array as is but this one will actually sort it and display it as a sorted uh, sorted array like uh, like this so here the first one is uh, as as it has been initialized mm -hmm. Volvo Audi BMW Toyota GMC and Ford but this one is being sorted from alphabetically from A B C D E F G H I J K until V which is the last value I have here in this example uh, I would like also uh, to show you how you can uh, use uh, array by using some uh, okay uh, I have actually I have to show you uh, this uh, example which is this example is inside uh, the body section not inside the head section the reason why I put it in the body section is because I would like to use get element by ID instead of get uh, instead of document dot right line uh, but because when I use a uh, document dot get element by ID I have to use an ID that is uh, declared here inside a paragraph or inside any one of uh, head uh, uh, you know uh, elements or any one of these elements of uh, HTML elements and you know that I cannot put HTML elements in the head HTML elements has to be uh, created inside the body section that's why when I would like to create an ID called demo inside the paragraph this paragraph has to be inside the body so my script also should be in the body section but get element uh, get element by ID using the ID that you created here dot inner html dot inner html equal uh, equal to what equal to cars dot to string car dot to string which is the array uh, the array name this one uh, like if you used uh, just uh, equal uh, cars uh, let me show you the you can just use cars or you can use as I told you in the previous example you can use cars dot to string so it is going to display that but you can just use cars which is the array name so you assign the array name to a uh, document or get element by ID and put the ID between quotation inside the parenthesis dot inner HTML assign it to the array name so this is a quick uh, coverage of the arrays and I would like to move on to the second uh, topic which is um, the functions also I have some examples uh, here in chapter 9 for functions and I would like to show them uh, one by one first I would like to uh, define functions what functions what a function a function is a small program that is executed to give a specific task and it can be reused by other programs functions could be built in functions or could be like methods for example this method that we used before like math.pow math dot, uh, dot square root math dot uh, abs all these are you know are called built in methods which are functions in, in fact but user defined functions like the example in front of you here which is a function defined by a programmer uh, it is written inside the script like that with function first as a keyword and then the function name followed by parentheses so here in this example I have a function called my function and uh, I have here one line to display hello world so between braces of course this line here 
this line is to execute this uh, you know function after you create the function the function if you don't execute it it will not uh, display anything so for example here this one will di not display anything because uh, I, I did not execute this uh, this function but I'm going to actually execute the function by writing the function name followed by a semicolon like that and then here it is it will display what is inside that uh, document of right line so after you define the function or create it you have to execute uh, this function the function could be executed uh, you know in in the program whether it is under the function name or over the function name it doesn't make no big uh, difference unless it is involved in other functions and then these functions are calling each other's um, let me uh, try uh, another example for functions like this one here this function is having a paragraph first says javascript functions and then two variables uh, n1 and n2 uh, are assigned to window.prompt to prompt for two numbers number one and number two these two numbers are used here as an argument for my function my function function so the function is called my function it accepted these two arguments these two arguments are here entered from the keyboard and then the function retains what the function retains the first number multiplied by the second number and then why do I execute my function or call my function I call it here in this line number 14 my function with the values uh, or the parameters that have been used in the function definition which is n1 and n2 so here I'm saying document dot write line n1 which is uh, the first number multiplied by you will see it as you you see it here concatenation this is concatenate this is concatenation and this is concatenation this is concatenation and this is concatenation that means merging the first number for example you enter four and six so four will be concatenated to the to this symbol and then will be con concatenated to the second number which is six for example and then will be concatenated to uh, equal sign and then this one will be concatenated to the function retained value which is uh the function name my function with the two uh with the two parameters which is here multiplied so this function will retain four multiplied by six which is 24. so this uh will give you simply uh will give you this first for example you enter four and then you enter six so it's going to be actually four multiplied by six is 24 and if you'd like to run it again you have to refresh into three and then uh, and then five and then we'll give you three multiplied by five is 15. so here is just the same program as before except that i'm using parameters these parameters are, are the variable that entered here so by these two uh, statements and then the function is executed on this line here uh, this program uh, is how to display, uh, you know, the. Let me um, come to this program later. I would like to show you uh, uh, another program here. This. Okay. This program is actually using uh, using um, button. Uh, button is being created here to submit. This submit will actually uh, run this form, which is uh, validate form here, and uh, the function will run this validate form the validate form will uh, give you an alert that name must be filled in uh, first because here i have a form small form in which i have an input box and command button 
command button which is just so to submit uh, only to submit this submit on submit uh, this method here uh, or this attribute on 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 submit will retain the form that is being created here uh, which is validate form with this name what do we have inside this function the function as assign uh, document dot forms uh, my form and the name dot value which is the value that that has been entered from the keyboard uh, this uh, program uh, will uh, will try to validate you know the form uh, values entered but this is not a complete program uh, maybe later in, my, in our previous uh, in our uh, next uh, you know uh, lectures we will talk about validation as in chapter 11 coming in chapter 11 but this one is just a small program that uh, when you click on submit you are actually executing the form which is this form here the fo this program doesn't do much because it doesn't validate anything yet uh, however for example if you try to click submit it will give you name must be filled out so you have to just uh, do something like that and it's no problem but if you don't do something uh, it will give you this uh, alert box which is name must be filled why it retains that alert box because here it says if x equal equal nothing that means this x this name that you are entering uh, if you if you put a value nothing in the frame in the in the f name which is uh, the the name here if name which is uh, the input box if you put nothing if this x equal nothing then give me this alert box name must be filled out as uh, because this submit is going to to uh, execute this function and the function is displaying the alert on one on one condition which is if you did not enter anything but if you enter nothing uh, then if you if you enter something then it will it will do of course nothing but this is for validation uh, as I told you is not to, to, spe to do specific operation uh, This is also uh, a validation program, which uh, I have moved this program to num to chapter 11. So I would like to talk about it in chapter uh, chapter 11. Uh, let me see if I have uh, this program about temperature uh, using some methods. Uh, this program is to ask for a temperature first look at my function my function is to convert t to convert it to what to centigrade so this function small function it says to celsius between two parentheses t t is what t is a t is a variable that will be prompted by this line so if you enter a value here like 100 for example this 100 will be uh, compensated in this equation or this expression so the function will retain 5 divided by 9 multiplied by 100 minus 32 so it will keep that value which is uh, I think 37.78 something like that it will keep it and then will display it in every place where you can see this uh, this function name so you see the function name here uh, to Celsius here and to Celsius here and here and here but with some methods for example the first one it will display it with many decimal places because I did not use any of you know method to to um, change the decimal places but here I using math dot floor math dot floor it will uh, round it up math sorry math dot floor it will round it down and math dot seal it will round it up and here to fix it will give uh, to fixed it will uh, decide on how many decimal places here I said two decimal places so it will display it with two decimal places so this program when I run it let me enter a hundred as I uh, mentioned earlier I'm gonna put hundred so the first uh, the first line which is this uh, line is gonna be giving me 37 with a lot of decimal places because this is a default 
uh, the default this one without any without any uh, change but this one the second one is 37 because I use floor and floor is we round it down that means it will give me only 37 and ignores the decimal place even though the decimal place uh, the number after the decimal place is more than five but it will ignore it for the math floor the second one is actually going to round it up so this 37.777 is going to be com uh, regarded as 78 the last one here uh, to give you two fixed I use two decimal places if you used uh, you know three decimal places instead then it will give you this 37.778 so here these are a lot of methods floor seal and then to fix to change the the values uh, by using these uh, methods this uh, method by the way are also covered in chapter 11 um, in chapter 11 we don't have much left actually we already uh, use some of these programs but I'm going to show you this uh, uh, program which is to validate some uh, some uh, for validation yeah this program here va validate zero let me just uh, enter it and see the code inside this program is creating uh, a function called my function inside this my function I have uh, declared a fa two variables one is called X the second one is called text X is assigned to window the prompt I'm gonna print for a prompt for a number between 1 and 10 I would like to validate so this if statement says if is non X or X less than 1 or X greater than 10 that means the first one if is none means if this x is not a number it could be a character or it could be a word so if it is not a character uh, sorry if it is not a number is none means is not a number so if you enter something that is not a number or you enter x but this x less than less than one you enter the negative number or you enter a positive number but it you enter it less uh, great greater than 10 because I need only numbers between 1 and 10 in this case if this condition becomes true uh, assign this text input not valid assign it to the variable text but anything else assign input is okay to the to the to the uh, variable text and at the end uh, you know uh, display the text so it's going to be either this one or this one depending on your input but this one include a button inside the script inside the body section this is why I created this inside my body section as you could see here inside the body section why because I would like to create an element here called button the button uh, has two attributes the first one type equal button uh, which is not uh, to, to give you that this is actually a button is not uh, is not uh, you know uh, anything else it's not uh, uh, an input box or something and on click equal my function on click is another attribute will be assigned to the function name uh, function name here is my function and here is just a text click here to validate click here to validate so this program, uh, we know, uh, what is it here? Okay, click here to validate. Okay, now, uh, enter a number. If you enter, for example, A, which is not a number. So the first condition become true. So this one will display input not valid. I'm going to enter a number. This time is going to be minus 2 which is a negative number also it will give me input not valid I'm going to enter a number but I'm going to enter 22 which is more than 10 also it will give me that input not a valid 
Then this number, um, this time I'm going to enter 7, which is a number between 1 and 10, and then it will give me this input is okay. So this actually program is to validate input, uh, is for validation. Um, this is the same program, however, using uh, document that get element by ID uh, demo, which is uh, created here. Uh, ID uh, dot uh, in the HTML equal text which is equal to the value that hold this uh, the string so it is the same program uh, so it's gonna give me the same program it's gonna give me the same program in one uh, yeah, with the with the um, with this uh, h2 and also paragraph as you could see here and then you can validate uh, a number like that or like this okay and uh, I guess this is uh, also similar program so this is actually all for uh, the three chapters that are covered in JavaScript uh, arrays and functions and methods and in the methods because these methods are actually covered um, some of them before chapter 9 so here uh, I used some methods like uh, like uh, built in methods like in this uh, program here for example is none is a method built in method like uh, also in uh, in in this uh, program here I use some methods like to uh, like math dot floor math dot seal and to fix all these are built in methods so actually it's chapter 11 is just uh, uh, you know limited to these methods and this calculator program I'm gonna put it in the blackboard for you to uh, to try it uh, yourself uh, as an exercise as you already you will see it in the blackboard.